Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to study Laplace transform. There are several integral transforms that are useful in applied mathematics. Laplace transform is one of them. Why do we use Laplace transform? We simplify some complex differential equations and solve it algebraically by transforming using Laplace. The knowledge of improper integrals will be very helpful because Laplace transform requires taking integral from zero to infinity. And by definition, Laplace transform is f of s is equal to integral from alpha to beta k of s comma t times f of t dt. Here f of t is the function that we are taking the Laplace transforming and k of st is e to the negative st when improper integral converging. Here, Laplace of f of t equals to f of s, which is by definition integral from 0 to infinity, e to the negative st times f of t dt. So this is the Laplace formula we are going to use. Here, f of t is the input and capital F of S is the output. Let's begin with taking the Laplace of constants. Let's take Laplace of 1. And we use curvy L for Laplace. Now, since we are taking the Laplace of 1, let F of t be equal to 1 and t is greater than or equal to 0, or else our improper integral diverges. So I recommend you to review improper integrals. I have a detailed video about improper integrals. Next step is to write the definition. Definition of Laplace transform is integral from 0 to infinity, e to the negative st times f of t, in our case, it is times 1 dt. So we applied this definition of Laplace here. Now we are going to solve this integral. So antiderivative of e to the negative st is negative e to the negative st over s. It is like negative 1 over s times e to the negative st. And we are going to take from 0 to infinity. So negative e to the negative st over s minus minus negative st over s. Here our upper boundary is the infinity. And our lower boundary is 0 e to the negative infinity is converging to zero. Here, e to the x function, and as we are going to negative infinity, e to the x converges to zero. So this upper boundary is totally zero. And e to the zero, because negative s times zero is zero, e to the zero is one. Anything to the zero is one. And 1 over s, negative 1 over s, and we have another negative sign here, it's 1 over s. So Laplace of 1 is equal to 1 over s. Here we can conclude that Laplace of any constant equals to constant over s. So Laplace of 5 is equal to 5 over s. Laplace of negative 7 equals to negative 7 over s. So here we can generalize the Laplace transform of any constant. Let's do another example. This time let's take Laplace of some exponential function. Laplace of e to the a t. So here our f of t is e to the at. 
and our t is again greater than or equal to zero to ensure that our improper integral is converging. Now, Laplace of e to the a t is equal to the definition of Laplace integral from zero to infinity e to the negative s t times e to the a t d t. Before we start taking the integrals, we can merge these two functions. So Laplace of e to the at is equal to integral from 0 to infinity by definition e to the negative s minus a times t dt. So you can add the powers on the same base and factor out t. So if we take antiderivative of this function, it's going to be negative 1 over s minus a times e to the negative s minus a times t. And the boundaries of integral is 0 to infinity. Now we're going to apply f of b minus f of a. So if we plug in infinity in the first function, we're going to obtain negative 1 over s minus a, we can factor out e to the negative s minus a times infinity minus e to the negative s minus a times 0. Here, infinity times anything is infinity, e to the negative infinity is 0. Here, 0 times anything is 0, e to the 0 is 1, and we have negative sign here, negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 over s minus a is positive 1 over s minus a. And s is greater than a. So this is our answer for the exponential function. Let's generalize exponential functions when we are taking the Laplace of any exponential function, such as e to the a t, which is 1 over s minus a, will look like this. Let's take Laplace of 3 e to the 5 t. Laplace is linear operation, so we can take this 3 outside of Laplace. So 3 times Laplace of e to the 5t. And here our a is 5. So we can rewrite this Laplace as 3 times 1 over s minus 5. If you take Laplace using the Laplace definition, you're going to obtain 3 times 1 over s minus 5 or 3 over s minus 5. So let's take Laplace of another exponential function, such as 7e to the negative 3t. We pull out 7, so 7 times 1 over s minus minus 3, because this negative 3 is like our a here. And if you rewrite this answer, you obtain 7 over s plus 3. Let's take Laplace of another exponential function, such as 8 e to the 10 t will be equal to 8 times 1 over s minus 10, which is 8 over s minus 10. So now we practically know how to take the Laplace of exponential functions, because we know that Laplace of e to the a t is equal to 1 over s minus a. We also know how to take practically Laplace of any constant. It will be constant over s. This time, let's take Laplace of a piecewise function. Let's find the Laplace transform of given graph. This is continuous piecewise function. So let 
f of t be equal to this function which is 1 between 0 and 1 because our function value equals to 1 between 0 and 1 k when t equals to 1 and 0 t is greater than 1 so using the definition of Laplace transform which is f of t equals to integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative st times f of t dt here our piecewise function has three conditions here so k value does not contribute anything to Laplace transform the value at the discontinuity here because integral will be here from 1 to 1 which will not contribute it will be equal to 0 and integration of 0 does not contribute anything to integral as well so we're going to use only this definition of piecewise given so Laplace of function above will be integral from 0 to 1 e to the negative st times 1 dt antiderivative of e to the negative st is negative e to the negative st over s and from 0 to 1 so our upper boundary will be negative e to the negative s times 1 over s minus minus e to the negative s times 0 over s here we're going to obtain negative e to the negative s over s negative times negative is positive and e to the 0 is 1 1 over s if we merge these two fractions we obtain 1 minus e to the negative s over s and s is greater than 0 so this is the answer of this given graph and this piecewise graph is a unit pulse of a force or a voltage mostly used in engineering contexts.